if you love doing blizzard attacks like this, but you hate, and I mean hate Laloing the town hall, well you're in luck because I've got an OP army just for you. It's Blizzard E-Drags. Alright, first attack coming in here, it is Dimmer, as you can tell. It's showing us the two sweeper placements here, but not going to stop us coming in with the Blizzard. So, the rocket balloons come from the bottom, they find one Sam, and the Blizzard gets in nice and safely. In Viz, here comes out the Super Wizards. We really are zooming in nice and close here. Super Wizards doing their thing. Absolutely crushing. And look at all the value we've got here. Absolutely insane. But the problem is, right, if you're doing like a Blizzard Lalo attack, you're still left a very awkward part of the base that's up here. Like, how do you deal with that Town Hall? Now, the pro players would obviously Lalo the Town Hall, but not all of us are pro players. So what's a new strategy you can use that completely counteracts this style of base? It's Blizzard E-Drags. So we got the Queen and the Titan on the bottom. They're doing a really nice job. Just destroy the defensive hound. And now we've got the mass E-Drags coming in from the top side. Notice we spread our E-Drags out. Do not put them on the same tile. Spread them out nicely. We freeze that multi, but more importantly, the Rage Tower as well. We don't want that heating up too early. Nice early Warden pop. You see that all of the time with E-Drags. Pop it earlier rather than later. Now, you'll notice there's an Invis Tower behind the Town Hall, which is perfect because the E-Drags counter Invis Towers so hard because they can activate it when they're nowhere near any of those uh, buildings, essentially. And it doesn't really stop the parting. We use our own Invis on our RC so she can deal with that enemy queen because obviously E-Drags really struggle with defensive heroes. But that's okay because we've got our own heroes for that. Our Kings just used his ability on the bottom side. The Queen still hasn't used hers. The RC still hasn't used hers. And essentially what this army is, right? You do the Blizzard on the back end of the base. You get rid of the Eagle Artillery. That's crucial. And a Monolith if you can, obviously. But get rid of any value on the back end. Then you just spam E-Drags into the Town Hall. Now, the best uh, spell tower, we'll talk about it more later. The best spell tower for this isn't in this tower, because as I just said, E-Drags counter it really hard. Um, or a Rage Tower, but still you'd prefer the spell tower. Uh, definitely not the Poison Tower, though. Anyways, you spam E-Drags into the Town Hall, use the King and Queen on one side, and essentially you just overrun the back end of the base with your heroes. Alright, we got El Tano coming in here now with the exact same strategy on a very similar style of base. Now, there is no in-game voice, uh, in-game sound on this replay, sorry about that. But look at this, he swagged so many spells. Did you see that? He put down two rage spells, a freeze as well, before he gets like an invis down. I don't know what was going wrong with El Tano here. Not a clean opener whatsoever. Obviously, with the extra spell investment, he does get good value for his super wizards there. I love these rocket balloons at the bottom. Look at it. He knows the pathing of the, of the rocket balloons would go straight from the, I believe it was the cannon, to the air defense. If you can pick off these air defenses around the town hall with rocket balloons, could not recommend it enough. Now, obviously, if you're doing like a normal clan war, you might not have access to rocket balloons, so you'll, you'll just have to make do if you can. But if you can get Rocket Balloons, it's seriously good for this army. Because generally you don't need Super Wall Breakers and you don't need Sneaky Gobs. So the Rocket Balloons are a good investment. But look at these E-Drags. So he's got the Baby Drags funneling. Queen on the bottom side dealing with that Hound CC. And we just spam the rest of our E-Drags straight into the Town Hall. Now we freeze the Invis Tower because we haven't really had a chance to activ uh, activate it early. So you don't really want it to activate if your E-Drags are close by. So worth the freeze there. Now, if he had not swagged three spells on his Blizzard, he would have another Rage for his E-Drags in the core here. And they would tear this base apart. They've still done a really good job. Now, obviously, as we said in the first attack, it's not the E-Drags job to clear out the base. They just need to get the Town Hall and chain to the core of the base. And we are very happy uh, with what they've done. Now you'll notice El Tano saves a headhunter. He brings the headhunter with this because there is a back end king. Really smart from him there. It's just six troop space to make sure your heroes are chilling. Absolutely worth it. Unfortunately our RC gets ripped apart. 
by the defensive Grand Warden, but we still get our King ability. We've actually still got two E-Drags up. This is quite an anomaly, anomaly, sorry, tough word to say. Generally, they will die in the core, but if they live to the end, you're pretty sure you're going to get a triple. Well done from El Tano here. I've got one more pro replay for you. Okay, last replay here. See Hades coming in from the bottom. No in-game sound on this one either, unfortunately. So let's see if uh, the soothing sound of my voice can do it for you guys. But yet again, doesn't even get the blimp that far into the base. Look at this. We can't even reach the eagle from here, but Hades seems more than happy with that because we are going to clear out the entire back end here. No CC pool either. So... This base obviously isn't as nice for this army because we're not getting the Eagle, we're not getting the CC pool. Also, coming up against ETX Sports here, uh, one of the best teams in the world. So, you know this is a legit base. He is not just taking out a terrible base here. Going straight into that single Inferno, minimizing its value. I don't know why our e drags aren't cha chaining the Town Hall. I guess, unfortunate for us there. So, we have to freeze that Invis Tower not only once but twice because... If our E-Drags are targeting the Town Hall like this, you don't really want them uh, moving off it like this. So I guess those two freezes didn't do much in the end. But look at this, the delayed Rocket Balloon. There was no way this was uh, planned. Definitely not what he wanted. But hey, we make it work. And look at this, the Invis Raged E-Dragons in the core. It's like an Electrone. And they have just uh, gutted most of the core of the base down. We've got our King and Queen. They're just chilling on the left side. But look at this, right? It looks like there is a lot of base up, and there is a lot of base up, but there's not really a lot that's going to hurt our heroes that badly. Can our Warden live? No, unfortunately, he cannot. We've got the Owl on the Eagle. Uh, it's just going to take down the Eagle bit by bit. More importantly, it's actually taking down that Ground Bow. Obviously, the Ground Bow is not a more important target than the Eagle, but it will actually take down that Ground Bow rather quickly, and that's going to help our Ground Hero push, because obviously... It's up to our heroes to get the rest of the base. Nicely done from the Diggy there. Actually stuns the Eagle, albeit a second late. And we've got a Freeze spell. We've got a Queen ability and an RC. And I think this just shows how broken heroes can be. Um, it was like this style of hit at Town Hall 14 where you just spam Hydra one side and have heroes clean up the base. That infuriated a lot of base builders. Now this one, a little easier to defend because obviously there is a Blizzard and you can always bait a Blizzard. But... Still comes off really strong. Heroes clearing up the rest. But the real question is, you've seen some pros do it. Can I do it? We'll, we'll give that one go. All right, coming in with the Blizzard E-Drax here. Pretty toxic box base. There is a Poison Tower behind the Town Hall that is horrible for E-Drax. But I feel like that's a better measure of how good this army is and how flexible it is. Because if it's only good going against a Rage Tower and an Invis Tower, uh, particularly only an Invis Tower behind the Town Hall, then it's not really that flexible an army, right? No, I don't think I really need a Hound for this one because the air defense is right there. We'll just go like that. We get a lot of coverage. Oh wow, our Super Wizards are so weak already. The Wall Breaker got open that giant bomb for us. So we're being pretty safe with our Invisors here. I could not predict that. I could not predict them going that way, unfortunately. But we get everything we want, really. The ground bow, it will be annoying for our back end heroes, but it's not the end of the world. Okay. Now, we've got five rocket balloons left. So I'm going to pull the CC up here because I would rather deal with the Titan uh, earlier than later. Um, there's no real point using a, a poison spell, though. Can I keep my unicorn out of range? I can. Okay, so what we're going to do... Something like this. I'm just kind of spamming. Rocket Balloon does not take down the, that air defense, but it should now. Oh my word! How hard is it to get an air defense down? So we pop the Warden ability. The king comes in, that's so bad, that's... Okay, the king goes back, which is nice. I gotta do that. I'm gonna help out on this side. We did get the monolith down. Got one more freeze. We've actually got another rage left. 
I think I'm going to use this Rage on my RC, honestly. She's the biggest key here. Oh, that freeze is kind of wasted. But, I think this should be enough. we still got a Diggy. I'm going to save this poison for the defensive queen. I'm actually going to use it now because it should last long enough for my queen to get there. And it should allow my E-Drag to chain her and the scatter one extra shot. Oh, beautiful! It's a triple. I actually can't believe that. Is it an overkill? Absolutely not. Is anything at Tamil 14 that isn't done by a pro? Probably not either. But think of it, right? If that was an invis tower, the E-Drags would have been chilling a whole lot more. But Poison Tower hurts them pretty bad. But yeah, we kind of crushed... No, we did We tripled it in the end. So let me know down in the comments below. Are you tempted to try this army? Do you think it's strong? Or do you think I, I and the pros just got lucky? But yeah, there that is for you guys. If you enjoyed this, or if you'd like to figure out how to take down other box bases... Make sure you go watch some of our other videos. I will link the Queen Charge Lalo video that we did recently. Uh, probably above me and below me. Um, and you can have a look at that. See how iPro takes down box spaces as well. Because there's more than one way to take down a box. But that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed the video. And maybe I'll see you soon.